Ever pondered why we haven't met any extraterrestrial beings yet? Well, you're not alone in this cosmic conundrum. This question forms the basis of what's known as the Fermi Paradox. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, the paradox grapples with a contradiction that's as vast and mysterious as the universe itself. Our universe, a sprawling cosmic canvas, is home to billions of galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars. By sheer probability, it's almost certain that many of these stars host planets with conditions ripe for life. Yet here we are, seemingly alone in the cosmos, without a single hello from an extraterrestrial neighbor. It's a cosmic puzzle that has long baffled scientists and philosophers alike. Could it be that we're looking in the wrong places or perhaps at the wrong times? Or is there a darker, more profound reason behind this cosmic silence? What if the silence of the cosmos is actually a survival strategy? Let's delve deeper into the enigmatic universe to find out. Welcome to the dark forest of the universe. Picture, if you will, a forest shrouded in endless night, where every rustle in the underbrush could signal danger. Now imagine that forest on an unfathomable cosmic scale. This is the dark forest theory, a chilling solution to the Fermi Paradox, which questions why we haven't yet encountered extraterrestrial life. Each civilization in this theory is akin to a hunter, stealthily navigating the undergrowth, choosing silence over communication. Why? Fear. Fear of revealing their location to a more advanced, potentially predatory civilization. It's a cosmic game of hide and seek, where the stakes are existence itself. In this silent forest, civilizations are like shadows, hiding in the darkness, waiting, watching, listening, but never speaking. It's a theory that paints a grim yet fascinating picture of our universe. In this vast, unending forest, silence is truly golden. Now let's delve deeper into a chilling extension of this theory, the Dark Forest Berserker Hypothesis. Picture this, a civilization more advanced than ours develops autonomous machines. These aren't your regular AI assistants or self-driving cars. No, these are berserkers, designed with a singular terrifying purpose to seek out and destroy other life forms. The berserker hypothesis is a fascinating yet terrifying projection of the dark forest theory. It's named after Fred Saberhagen's science fiction series, where autonomous war machines known as berserkers are programmed to eradicate life. This concept is not entirely alien to us. After all, humans have been creating machines for warfare for centuries. But in the Berserker hypothesis, we're not talking about machines controlled by humans. These are self-replicating, autonomous machines, capable of making decisions and carrying out their deadly mission without any human intervention. Imagine drones that can build more drones, all programmed with the same devastating objective to wipe out anything that poses a threat to their creators. The fear factor here is not just the existence of such machines, but the motivation behind their creation. If civilizations are as paranoid as the dark forest theory suggests, they might create berserkers as a preemptive measure, a cosmic better safe than sorry. The universe, in this perspective, is not just a dark forest, but a battlefield, teeming with invisible soldiers. Each civilization, cloaked in the shadows, sends out these berserkers to ensure they remain the last ones standing. It's a cosmic game of survival, where the players are civilizations and the pawns are these deadly machines. This hypothesis adds a new layer of menace to the cosmic silence. It suggests that the reason we haven't heard from extraterrestrial life might not be because they're non-existent or too far away. Instead, these civilizations might be hiding, avoiding detection by the berserkers who are programmed to destroy them. So, could these berserkers be the reason for our cosmic silence? 
Imagine the implications if the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis holds true. The hypothesis presents a chilling prospect, a universe teeming with life yet eerily silent as civilizations strive to avoid detection by potential predators. Firstly, let's consider the impact on our own behaviors in space exploration. We've been beaming signals out into the cosmos for decades in the hopes of reaching out to extraterrestrial life. But if the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis is accurate, such actions could be akin to lighting a beacon in a predator-infested forest. The dangers of sending out signals into space suddenly become all too real. Instead of inviting friendly contact, we might be attracting the attention of advanced and potentially hostile civilizations. Secondly, let's ponder the implications for other civilizations in the universe. If survival necessitates silence, then advanced civilizations may have evolved to live in hiding, minimizing their footprint in the cosmos to avoid detection. This could explain the eerie silence we face despite the high probability of life in the universe. Civilizations might be out there, but they are intentionally keeping quiet to avoid the attention of berserkers. Thirdly, consider the galactic society that the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis suggests. A universe where civilizations live in perpetual fear, constantly hiding and always on the lookout for threats. It's a far cry from the optimistic visions of a united and peaceful cosmos we often dream about. Lastly, the implications for our understanding of life itself are profound. Life, as it turns out, might not be a harmonious symphony of coexistence, but a cosmic game of hide-and-seek where civilizations must stay hidden or face annihilation. The Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis paints a grim picture of the universe, one filled with unseen dangers and civilizations living in the shadows. Whether it's true or not, it forces us to reconsider our place in the cosmos and the strategies we employ in our quest to contact extraterrestrial life. However, not everyone agrees with the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis. Let's delve into some of the criticisms and counter-arguments that have been brought to the table. One of the primary objections revolves around the assumption of universal aggression among civilizations. Critics argue that this hypothesis paints an overly pessimistic portrait of advanced societies. They suggest that a civilization's evolution might equally lead to peaceful coexistence, driven by mutual respect and understanding rather than predatory aggression. Many critics also point to the vast distances and energy requirements that make interstellar aggression impractical. Interstellar travel, as we currently understand it, would require an immense amount of energy and time, even at light speed. It's hard to imagine a civilization expending such resources on a destructive mission, rather than focusing on self-preservation and growth. Also, there's an argument that the hypothesis underestimates the potential for technological advancements that could change the rules of the game. Who's to say that future civilizations won't discover ways to communicate or travel that defy our current understanding of physics? Additionally, some critics question the very premise of silent, lurking predators. They argue that such a strategy might not be the most effective or even viable one for advanced civilizations. For instance, they could choose to announce their presence and establish dominance through displays of technological prowess, rather than resorting to stealth and surprise attacks. Furthermore, the hypothesis assumes that all civilizations, regardless of their advancement level, perceive and value life and survival in the same way we do. This anthropocentric view of the universe is considered by many as a limitation, as it could blind us to the possible diversity of life and intelligence in the cosmos. Despite these criticisms, proponents of the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis argue that it provides a possible explanation for the Fermi paradox and the apparent silence of the cosmos. It's clear that the debate 
is far from over. The Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis, like any scientific theory, is subject to scrutiny, discussion and perhaps eventual refinement or rejection, such is the nature of our ongoing quest to understand the universe. There's another possible explanation for our cosmic loneliness, the Great Filter. This concept, born out of the minds of brilliant cosmologists, presents a chilling consideration. It proposes that somewhere in the evolutionary journey of life, there lies a stage so perilous, so challenging, that it's nearly impossible to survive. This is the Great Filter. The Great Filter could be anything from a catastrophic technological mishap to a devastating natural disaster. It's a hurdle so high, few, if any, civilizations can leap over. It's a cosmic roadblock, if you will. Now, how does this tie into the Berserker hypothesis? Well, if civilizations are routinely wiped out by these great filters, it would explain why we're not seeing any interstellar berserkers. They simply might not exist, because they've already been filtered out. Could we be one of the lucky ones who have passed through this filter? Or is it yet to come? That's a question we may never have a definitive answer to. In the end, our understanding of the universe is still in its infancy. We've embarked on a journey through the dark forest, examined the berserker hypothesis, and grappled with its profound implications. What we've uncovered is a theory that suggests our cosmos may be a treacherous wilderness, teeming with advanced civilizations that remain silent to avoid detection. This hypothesis, while unsettling, is a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge, a beacon guiding us through the cosmic wilderness. It's a theory that compels us to question, to ponder, and to explore the unknown realms of our universe. Despite the criticisms and counter-arguments, the Dark Forest Berserker hypothesis remains a compelling perspective that challenges our understanding of existence and survival in a universe that's infinitely vast and complex. As we gaze into the cosmos, one thing is certain, the universe keeps its secrets well. But as curious beings, we will continue to unravel these mysteries one cosmic conundrum at a time.